Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Higem Kim, an illustrator and designer. I make picture books, take on client projects, and run my own small business. If you're interested, you can check out my stickers and prints at the link in the description. Today, I'm going to share my journey of how I went from a graphic designer to becoming an illustrator while working on a fishmonger shop. So, let's get started. Growing up, art was always a passion of mine. I loved art class the most in school and when I was getting ready to pick a major for college, I decided to go to an art school and pursue a degree in graphic design. I thought that would be the best way to land a job after college. At the time, I had no idea that it was even possible to make a career out of being a full-time artist. I went through undergrad and worked as a designer for a few years before heading to New York to get my master's in package design. Right after graduating with my master's degree, I decided to take up drawing as a way to relieve stress and to do something creative. I started posting my drawings on social media, first on Tumblr and then on Instagram. In the beginning, I received almost no response, of course, but as I kept posting and improving my skills couple of, for a couple of years, I started gaining followers. A few years later, I was contacted by a Korean publisher to create a book about Mr. Fox, and I was offered several drawing book contracts by an American publisher the following year. I also took on some freelance gigs from time to time, Although the income was not livable and I couldn't get a job due to my visa status in the US, but I saw the possibility. I just secretly hoped to launch my own illustration brand someday. In August 2021, I finally quit my day job as a designer. There was a personal issue that played a part in my decision, but by the time I had had enough of the company, I was exhausted by the politics and meetings, and the work I was doing became very repetitive a year after year. I didn't want to see myself working on the same job after 10 years, so I decided to quit. It had been 7 years since I started at the company and 13 years since I began my career in graphic design. So what kind of work I'm doing right now? After quitting my job, I focused on building on my portfolio first. In December of the same year, I was lucky enough to land my first full-time freelance illustration gig. Since then, I've been working on client projects, publishing my own children's books and Ever Che Blay, which features my lovely blue the bear, and another drawing book, Drawing Class and occasionally taking on freelance graphic design jobs when they come my way. I also recently launched my first online class. And on top of that, I'm working on expanding my small business that sells prints, stickers, and other merchants. So what did I learn after being a full-time illustrator for one and a half year? I must say it's not easy. Although I'm doing many works trying to keep me busy, but I'm still not making enough livable income yet. After filing tax this year, I realized that I made half of the income I used to make in the company. I live in New York, even though it's not in the middle of the city, but living cost is still pretty high. I'm very grateful that I have a husband who supports me, otherwise I wouldn't be able to keep my job that easily. I also learned that diversify income stream is very important. When I first started out, my goal was just to landing a client project, but after a year and a half, I realized that relying solely on client project wasn't sustainable enough. Clients don't always come, and when they do, rates can sometimes be very low. To fill the gaps and find more reliable income, I needed to explore other sources like online classes, illustration merch shop, and more. I'm still working on the system, but in this way, even if something doesn't work out one month, I have other options to make up for it. So the conclusion. Becoming a full-time illustrator and supporting myself has been a difficult but rewarding journey. 
Following my passion for illustration allowed me to lead a more meaningful and enjoyable life. I don't have to deal with corporate politics and worry about what my boss will think about this or that. I can take my dogs out for a long walk in the middle of the day. And more importantly, I am working for myself, not for somebody else. If I could give any advice to someone wanting to follow their dreams, it would be to never give up, keep practicing, and keep learning. Believe in yourself and what you are capable of. And make sure to save some money if you plan on quitting your day job someday. When you first start out, you will likely get fewer or even no jobs, so having savings will be very helpful. Try to save as much as possible, but make sure to have at least 6 months worth of expenses saved up. I'm not saying that you need to quit your day job and pursue your dream right now. Be realistic and consider your lifestyle, how long you can live without income, etc. Having a day job can also be great. You don't need to worry about making a living and can focus solely on creativity after work, like I did for 7 years. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.